take a step in the back. <clears throat> so today I'm teaching again, doing a little sculpture lesson. I'm gonna show you all about it in just a moment. But first, let's see what's going on in the back. I smell burning clay. Let's go check that out. Um, yeah, not a ton of progress on uh, on Wasteland Weekend. Oh, also the lights aren't on in here. Like, what is going on? Oh, snap. Anthony, man. You got to turn that thing on low. You had it on high. It was just liquid clay. I can't sculpt with liquid clay right now. I need soft clay. Soft. So, yeah, I was saying anyways before I discovered the, you know, potential fire hazard that um, the airplane hasn't had a ton of progress on it, but we have done some stuff over here. I'll show you the skinning. We've done two out of the three first pieces, so each ring, if you look, each ring is three pieces, two sides and a top cap, so that's the last one we have there to do, but then these two are done, one and two, but they're gonna be pretty messy actually, so like we've got us some cleanup to do and make them look a little nicer because they are not great, but Ant has been working on this little top secret alligator project. So we got the first layer of skin in there. I say we and did it, but pretty exciting. So yeah, today I'm doing a sculpture lesson, which is uh, like kind of a basics for students. And I'm trying to work on how to, um, how to, what's the best way to put this? Like sort of understand the fundamentals of like uh, the dimension of clay, how to like build up your forms how to just understand how to work with the clay. Let's take a look. Ant's in there doing homework with the class right now. But let's grab my board real fast. And then when you're able to take it apart, all you have to do is just cut the silicone. Uh, as you can probably imagine, that's a rushed way to do it because you want those that, that seam to line up really, really well so if you can help it. Okay. It. Hi, Ant. Nice to see you. All right, so let's take a look over here real quick. I'm going to show you what I did with the students yesterday. All right. So you can see here, we did some like little wound practice, but the first thing I had them do was start sculpting an eye, uh, which is this really cool lesson from Don Lanning um, and a part of the Stan Winston series. Um, so I kind of shared that experience with my students. Um, yeah, pretty fun. Just trying to understand like the dimensionality of like coming off of the board and understanding like the high and low points and creating movement and weight and and emotion in the clay so it's gonna be fun and i'm doing this again today flip that around since i don't need to look at it anymore so we're doing that same lesson today a different class so i'm actually really excited to see how much uh different my my eye is going to be today so We'll see. Um, I'll probably shoot some more stuff today during the class and then we'll uh, go from there. But yeah, just wanted to show you what we're doing this morning. Ooh, what a mess. Today was a busy day. Uh, Ant joined me, uh, Jonah. Ant joined me today. He did a little clay sculpture with me and I did mine over there. So we have my day one with the first uh, group of students and my day two. I did too, I tried to get a little more like natural proportions and actually try to get like the actual size of a human face approximated to about my face, the depth more approximated to like the actual depth of my lowest low points, my highest highs. Um, I thought Ant did an incredible job. I know if you're not a sculptor, you might be like, oh, it's so messy. But like, honestly, this is great. I mean, the more you can leave a sculpture messy and just keep blocking out shapes, the, the I think the more quickly you're going to get ahead. So. I was really proud of Ann, did a good job today. And very proud of my students, they all did a, a wonderful job. You know, it's funny, I, I really loved this. I loved the emotion that I did the other day, and I, I was really proud for having only ever done this exercise this one time. I, but I am really happy with, like, kind of taking what I thought yesterday and improving on the, the lesson. I, you know, working with the students to actually give them more things to try, where I'm like, hey, like, you know, this is what we did, but... And I was like, I actually now having like done it, I want to like try to actually push to do it a little different and glad to see some progress there. But yeah, thought it came out pretty good. Cool little uh, day.
day one, day two side by side. What do you guys think? Well, I'm beat. I'm literally uh, done with school for the day and about to wrap up. Uh, Ant's back here. I think he's been pouring up some polyp. Let's go take a look. Um, let's see what's going on over here. Oh, Anthony. How's the polyfoam going? It's going well. I'm almost completely full on the one hand. Uh, I just need to go up on the sides and brush into the hands and cut off a little bit tomorrow so that I can close it for up the second hand. Right on. Anthony, what is this mess? Oh. Pig pen. That's my nickname for Ant. Let's take a look at what he's doing. So he's just slowly filling up this uh, mold with polyfoam. Then he's gonna shave off anything that kind of goes over the mold line wall. And then we're gonna pop the other half on top and put it together and he's gonna dump the foam. I, again, I say we, but really Ant is doing all the work. I'm in there teaching, so, you know, go figure. Typical, taking all the credit. Right, Ant? Oh yeah. Every boss he ever had just yeah. steals all the credit. Shoemaker and the elves. Help. All right, well, I think that's it for me. I am excited. Hopefully at the end of the week, we're gonna do a little more work on this. Um, Ant's taking over teaching Friday and Saturday, which means I'll be able to actually give this thing some love. So maybe some of the Wastelanders uh, will come join me this, uh, this Friday and we'll do a little bit of fun skinning. By fun, I mean, oh, it's not fun, but I'm excited about it anyways. Uh, Jonah, I hope you're all prepared for your trip. I know you leave tomorrow for LA. It's going to be weird not having you here at the shop for a few weeks, but uh, hopefully you have a safe trip, and I look forward to hearing all about your time out there. I'll see you later. Take care, everyone. Oh, and uh, don't forget, like, subscribe, follow, hit the bell notification, because hopefully this is only getting better and the content's more fun, so, you know, do it. See you later. Oi, oi, oi.